UMass Lowell hockey program had successfully made the transition from Division II to Division I and to Hockey East. The team had made it to the Boston Garden and the Hockey East Tournament semifinals with regularity, and it had been to the Tournament Championship game. It had also been to three NCAA tournaments as a Division I program, and it had held its own twice beating powerhouse Michigan State in the Spartan Zone building. The program had moved from the Tully Forum to the Songus Arena, but the steady progression had stumbled. Progress appeared to have come to a halt. The program, if anything, seemed to be stagnating. The empty seats at the city of Lowell-operated Songus Center seemed to speak loudly and offer only words of disappointment. During the 2006-2007 season, the team had endured a 20-game winless streak. And in March, the hockey team was in Burlington, Vermont, getting ready for what would be the season-ending two-game series with the University of Vermont. Closer to home, the university trustees were discussing the program's future, and the whispers were not encouraging. In 2007, Robert Sheridan was the president and CEO of Savings Bank Life Insurance. He was also a member of the University of Massachusetts Board of Trustees. In 2007, he was the vice chairman of the board, and he was also the chairman of the University of Massachusetts Building Authority. The university trustees were in the process, at the time, of searching for a new chancellor to lead UMass Lowell into the future, and the hockey program appeared to be in trouble. There was talk of moving the program to Atlantic Hockey, or eliminating the program altogether. Together. But then again, there was Robert Sheridan. He called for the creation of an ad hoc task force to study the matter, and he was named to chair the task force. The hockey program was tired, um, wasn't as competitive. There was some sentiment on the board that the only hockey's program should be uh, UMass Amherst, so you, you had that dynamic going on, that tension. Of course, you had a facility where it was, uh, the arrangement was very uneconomic. And so I think the goal or objective of the task force was to think of a way that you can re-energize, can you re-energize the program? That, that's a big question. But can you re-energize the hockey program both on and off the ice? Robert Sheridan had gotten his college education at Boston College. He jokes that it took six years to get his degree. And then there was law school at night. SBLI, his employer, was very much community-involved, community-driven. Over a couple of decades, he'd watched that company grow. But the University of Massachusetts had become a passion to him, and he didn't believe in giving up the fight. The task force gave UMass Lowell Hockey and its brand new chancellor, Marty Meehan, a vote of confidence. But more importantly, the task force developed a plan, a structure, a course of action designed to create a future for the hockey program and the Sanger Center and the university. I think part of it was probably a mental decision, an irrational decision, and part of it was a decision with your gut to say that uh, the program, if you turn around the program, that would, that would, that would help to transform UMass Lowell, because success breeds success. We do know the rest of the story. The UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks are the defending Hockey East regular season and tournament champions. They've put together back-to-back 20-plus -back win seasons and consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament, including a trip to the Frozen Four. Home attendance averages more than 5,000 a game. UMass Lowell owns the Songa Center and has turned it into a showplace. The university, with a variety of new buildings sprouting on north, south, and east campuses, is undergoing a dramatic transformation, and the city of Lowell is being transformed as well. Robert Sheridan had a hand in all of that. He's now retired. His passion is his family. Oh, and I should note, UMass Lowell has never lost a game when Sheridan is asked to officiate the ceremonial dropping of the puck. Yeah, at times you think it's almost like a... Fellini or surreal movie to say, well, this really happened, this is reality. Um, it, it, it puts a lot of pressure now uh, on the team because they've reached that level of excellence. But that's what you want in sports, and actually that's what you have in life. Life is competitive. <laughs>